a ruggedly tough but supremely skilled player. Paul Sproul carved out a successful career in Victoria as a player for nearly 10 years before returning to his home state as a coach where his reputation as one of the finest football brains ever was only enhanced. It would be fair to say that of all the coaches that I had that Sproul was the most influential on me. I think he helped me to become a better person. I think he helped me to become a better footballer and uh, you know, uh, I learned a lot from him that I was able to apply to my own coaching. Born in 1944, Sproul's first appearance in senior football was with the Hobart Football Club at the age of 17 in 1962, the same year as another famous footy name, Triple Brownlow medalist Ian Stewart. While Hobart was in the middle of a period of success under captain coach Mal Pasco, it didn't take long for the teenage Sproul to cement himself in the senior side and he was a Premiership player in 1966. He wasn't very good, uh, but he can always seemed to be where the ball was. And that was the thing that stood out to me about Paul more than anything. He was a wonderful kick on the run, and he was supremely fit. It wasn't long before the VFL came knocking, with Sproul joining Essendon at the start of the 1967 season. A broken leg delayed his debut for the Bombers until the opening match in 1968 against Hawthorne. It was an outstanding introduction to VFL football, with Sproul booting five goals and gathering 17 disposals in a 73-point win. In his five seasons at Windy Hill, Sproul made 60 senior appearances for a return of 60 goals. Together with Tom Hafey and Graham Richmond, they finally convinced a reluctant Sproul to move to Punt Road, where he debuted for the Tigers in 1972, quickly becoming an indispensable member of the strong Richmond sides of the 70s. With his brilliant footy brain, incredible ability to find the ball, and uncanny goal sense, he was a huge asset to the already talented Tigers midfield and was a member of the Tigers' back-to-back -back premierships and named amongst the best players in both. After 86 games with Richmond, Sproul returned home to Tassie and has maintained a strong passion for the game ever since. As one of Sandy Bay's greatest coaches, captain coach of Hobart's greatest team, life membership of the Richmond Football Club, a legend in the Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame, and now an icon of the Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame. Skin. If we're behind, then never mind, we'll fight and fight and win, for we're from Tiger Land. We never weaken till the final siren's gone. Like the tiger of old, we're strong and we're bold, for we're from Tiger. Yellow and black, we're from Tiger Land. Oh, we're from Tiger Land. Risking head and skin, if we're behind, then never mind. We'll fight and fight and win, for we're from Tigerland. We never weaken till the final siren's gone. Like the tiger of old, we're strong and we're bold.